the gray squirrel is just a little bit bigger and tougher and better at competing for the nuts than the red squirrel. But the main thing is the gray squirrel is immune to a disease that kills red squirrels. So it carries the disease, but it doesn't, doesn't kill the greys. And the consequence is that over the intervening, what is that now, 150, 170 years, uh, throughout most of Europe, and certainly across all the British Isles, United Kingdom and Ireland, um, the grey squirrels have wiped out the red squirrels. So you can imagine in a company where you introduce a change, you give it some protection, some new ideas, and that, that's the grey squirrel. And the existing way of doing things, the existing project management, portfolio management, whatever it is, that's the red squirrel. Well, if the gray squirrel gets a bit of protection that survives and begins to thrive and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, more popular because it's perceived as a better, easier solution to the old way of doing it, gradually the, the, the gray squirrel displaces the red squirrel uh, in the population. 